What's up guys and what's going on? I hope you are doing fine. I am okay, Nehem Patrick. I am creating this video uh, in response to uh, one, one of my followers or my subscribers. One of my subscribers um, was asking me to do just the video guideline to show uh, others um, actually how they can set up a working people account that can send and receive money in Uganda here. So he told me, he warned me that I must stop asking money from people. But mind you guys, actually when somebody asks you to do a certain thing, what will you do? All right, will you just do something that really will also cost you to do it? Will you really do it for free? For a lot of people that will be inboxing you, do it for me, do it for me, do it. Where will you be getting the money? This is the reason why I'm asking for the money, all right? That if creating it has defeated you, I can create it for you actually at the cost of 85,000. And the guy told me, uh, like in the comment in one of my videos, I'm going to share with you. He told me that, oh, please stop asking money. This is your problem, Ugandans. Uh, all right. It was really, it was good. And that's why I'm making this video to give you some get like, because I got a certain worry here. I'm going to do uh, one of my uh, people, okay, person, told me to quit for him. Uh, this one, they offer up uh, uh, these. Um, uh, working people account so i'm going to do it live for you here so that you follow along with me thank you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you know for sure it is your first time uh on my channel and you're looking for some ways and ideas to making money online and even offline or even some other kind of important information or messages that may benefit you so make sure you subscribe all right let's get into the video share with you my screen thank you okay as i mentioned earlier it was like this uh this person here you see from the comment of one of the videos that i uploaded this guy told me how do i withdraw my money from paper though stop asking money from people subscribers bro you okay from your subscribers something of that kind bro you get views why not just make videos directing them ugandans that's your problem so exactly this is what i was talking about and now this is the reason why i'm recording this video it's alpha edits 256 is what uh is talking about this kind of thing so uh without wasting time let me just quickly uh, take you to uh the tutorials and uh, make sure you follow it because once you have failed to to do it by yourself then what will happen is that uh what will happen is that i'm going to ask you for money because what i told you earlier on if you don't follow it carefully you are going to be asked all right so now uh let just get going here to okay to okay let's first go to our whatsapp okay there is this person here the reason why i'm doing this live here because i wanted to uh to do this together because there is this person that wanted me to create for him the people account all right but unfortunately he used his wife's uh and a general ID. So the reason, okay, there are a few things that are needed exactly. So the guy we talked a lot, and the guy sent me requirements that I needed. Okay, you need the front part of your national ID. All right, this is the first thing you need: front part of your national ID, and uh, even the back part of it. Right. So, and um, and then the email address that you have never used to make a people account. Then the phone number that we need to link. Right. So the guy gave me this phone number already and uh, when I tried this email address uh, to put in the system, what happened, it, reje it was rejected and then uh, he sent, I told him to create a new one and now the new one he created for me is this one. I'm going to copy this and paste it when I'm creating this PayPal account. So this is the guy that I'm going to do example on his account of which yeah it will be working properly so let's do this way let's get going now we need to go to google i'm doing it on my mobile phone right now all right okay when you go to paypal uh what will happen is you are going to enter these uh, all right let me first get back to the home page of the paypal right all right we are we are back here on people's uh, dashboard here so what we are going to do you are going to see any button that's saying get started and maybe you can get started from here as well or you go straight away to uh, until you reach the bottom of this page you say get started from here or 
So this is exactly what we are going to do. You click on get started and then you wait for it to get loaded. And once it is loaded, we just need to go straight away to uh, to use the other email address that we copied all right this is assuming this is your email address so we are going to use this email address and try it out here so this is the email address we are going to paste it there and we are going to see whether it will be accepted here to be used so let's get going here and click on continue and enter the password so let me enter the password and get back to you all right so we're going to enter the password here and we get back okay okay now i've already entered the password for this and now we are going to continue uh by clicking on the continue button here and it will take us straight away there now we are going to enter the legal first name all right the legal first name okay sorry there's some part that i didn't explain to you very well you are going to be selecting maybe let's get started just afresh sorry about this all right now okay you need to go and select the business account don't use the personal account i'm just giving uh creating for you the awareness here don't use the personal account here this this was the step that i jumped okay sorry about this but uh, you just need to go to the personal or don't go with personal account but go with the business account so when you go with the business account it will bring you to this page that looks like this right so now you are going to enter the first name all right and then the last legal name like this so the business contacts all right so we are going to enter it there so in this case assuming you are the one all right so you are just going to look for your first name now that this is the reason why i need this natural id so the first name will be alomu something of this kind and then uh, we are entering it there all right so let me just go back there and enter the detail that i'm asking for okay they are asking for here so the first name is alomu then the second name uh, it was like proscovia right so we are going to put this proscovia proscovia is it that way proscovia all right all right so that's it exactly so we come here to the business uh, details now when they ask you actually the legal business name then i advise you to use the name which is available in your national id or somebody's national identity card because uh there will be some verification that will be asked in the future you never know when you receive a lot of money they may they might ask or they may ask you about that right and then when you enter maybe something any any name that you grab from anywhere or server uh, you will be affected your money will be held here forever because they will be inquiring you to submit the legal documents for that company you are putting the name the business name like for example when you put maybe uh maybe a uh, bitco all right bitco like this so they will be in need of you to provide the legality documents for this uh company for this business that you have put the name so that's why i advise you use your real name that is appearing on your national idea that's why you're seeing this business name must be identical to the name on the company's articles of incorporation don't use a trade name or a shorter version of your business name this is the reason why i'm telling you to use your very own name because when they ask you have the uh the ability to get everything that you have on your natural id like this person here right imagine you enter this because you will be asked maybe to take the proof of that so you just send this so let's get back to the video so the legal business name required here we are going to use like uh, the first name it's uh, okay this is the name you want your customers to see when they're sending you the payment if you don't want this name to be seen to them you can just literally remove that all right but it's need to be seen in the receipt when somebody sends you the payment so we are going to enter uh, the first name for this person and the second name as well to enter what is in your national id alomu okay proscovia 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 all right that is it exactly so now the telephone number here what you are going to do here is just like you leave this is like uh, it has shown as kenya so you look like we are from uganda all right 
I am from Uganda, or this person is from Uganda, then what we are going to do, we are going to look for your personal country, all right? Uh, because here we are just wrapping ourselves in uh, the country that uh, people accept payment or uh, receiving and sending the funds, all right? Uganda is res restricted because of the fraudulent stuff like this. So now, I've forgotten to tell you this, but make sure you just note it somewhere there. You need to camouflage yourself uh, to uh, under the, uh, the country, all those countries that people allows them to receive and send money, but never and don't use United States or USA because you will be banned, right? So now in this case, we used maybe South Africa, okay, uh, or even Kenya. So this is the example I used Kenya, for example, all right? So now here, but you don't need to enter the phone number for Kenya, but you need to enter the phone number for your mm, uh, particular country where you are coming from. In this case, we are coming from Uganda and we are entering the phone number for Uganda. So let's enter the phone number for this person. Now the, the phone number is 759, all right, he sent to me this for his phone number uh, here. Uh, I'm not picking it from anywhere. Uh, this is the phone number he gave me, all right? I don't know, let's, okay, copied. So let's go back here and we place it there as well. I don't know where we are there. All right, there we are. Then uh, the business address. Now the business address, since we have used Kenya, so we are going to find a location from Kenya, the true locations from Kenya, and we are going to be entering in the business address uh, option here. So position here, we are going to enter it there. So make sure you follow along. If you're still new on my channel, please consider subscribing. And then don't forget to hit on the bell notification to get notified every time I launch a new video showing you info, important information just like this what you're watching. All right, so let's continue the video. Now, as I told you earlier, we need to get back to uh, Google and then we search for, we generate some location, right? You remember, we are going to be using the location. Since we used Kenya as a country that also accept payment from PayPal, we are going to okay let's open another tab just like this and then we go to generate like uh, uh, kenya all right kenya address generator and we pick it from there exactly so for this case we are selecting one of these all right and then once it is loaded i'm going to launch it back to you so you can select any of the kenya address uh, generator from here and then you pick just that okay now what we are going to do here we are generating some free and um, actually the uh, address uh, from Kenya we are going to use this one here the street we are going to use this one so let's copy and paste it there all right I mean okay let me get back here and go back to all right here we are going to enter the address one Okay, maybe something of this kind, and we skip this, and we come to the city which is Nairobi. All right, Nairobi. Now I don't know how to write Nairobi very well. Nairobi, something of this kind. Nairobi. Then the postal code it doesn't matter. Even if you don't put, just put enter a zero zero. It, 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 you want to be rejected. This is what I think. Oh, they rejected this. Let's make it to be five. Okay. Let's try. Yeah. So, like from Uganda, when you're entering this, it must be four. But from Kenya, it's five. Because now, even from South Africa, it's like that. So, you select which um, maybe the currency you want to be, uh, your balance to be looking like. So, in this case, we are sticking with the US. All right. Now, after that, we are going to click on agree. Sorry about that interruption. We are going to click on the agree button and then we click here that continue agree and continue so our account will be actually created for that case all right so don't mind about that and let's uh, wait for it first to get opened up so i don't know whether it will be opened in a correct way and then uh, let's wait what will be let's wait, wait for it okay they're asking that you describe your business now what we are going to do 
you are going to put here that individual sole proprietorship all right don't go for uh, this one here don't go with this because when you go with sole proprietor they are going to ask for some other kind of the requirements like this one here you are seeing here a lot of things all right uh they will ask you a lot of things so don't go for that go for individual sole proprietorship and then you select internet business right for internet so let's say internet all right something like this and then we see the company network information computer network and something of this kind we select that and then you can leave this one blank it's optional then we come directly or if you want to understand uh, what is this for you can always click there the type of the business you are established you establish will determine what information is needed for you by the irs bank paypal and other institution so after seeing what is it exactly you go further more and click on here and understand letting us know what kind of uh, kind of products or services you sell help us provide the solution you need to help your business grow so now you already know this you need leave this one as optional there you just leave it blank now click on continue after clicking you on continue you are going to be presented to this exactly and enter the death of birth okay the country of your nationality or your national which country okay where are you coming from so and then what are you using you using using national id or passport or driving lenses you just need to select from there all right now in this case i'm going back there all right to or what this guy provided to us and uh, you are going to look and this this is the reason why you need the natural id because they're going to use this we're going to pick this national id uh the death of birth 10th of nine october no i don't know is it yeah uh, 1996 then we are going to enter it there all right so let's go back here and we enter uh this one here was like um the death of birth was like on the 10th and then the month of i don't know september okay september i think september and 19 96 all right nationality you are going to put where you are coming from don't put the country that you are camouflaging yourself under like for example uh, we used here we are using kenya and uh in the other video we used south africa but here we're using kenya so don't just put your nationality to be that because you will be asked to enter the uh the national id uh, details for that particular country so when you enter maybe jazzy jordan or a lot of countries there don't use them use the country of your origin all right because you you can easily get what what are required so in this case we are going for uganda because you're coming from uganda here i'm a uganda by nationality let's try to look for okay this person is a you and not not me this person is from uganda so we need to look for uganda where it is located so that we can be able to put it there all right what are you going to use national id or what so let's try to select we are going to use the national id since we were given this national id so we are going to use the optional national id so they are going to ask us to enter the national id number here so for this case i'm going to enter this national uh, the national id for this person here but let me try to enter it real quick here all right let me enter and get back to you again oh sorry All right, now uh, we are already entered this person national ID details. Okay, okay. Let me just verify it real quick. Six 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 one zero three eight eight eight. All right. Now here, what you are going to do? They are going to ask the home address. What is or where is your home address? Now, for this case, if you want it to be like the home address you want it to be like what you've provided earlier on for the uh, country that you are camouflage yourself under like in this case we are using kenya so you can just click there and it will remove other things all, all right you can even put it like that all right but uh, for this case we can enter our real address which we are where we are living right now of which is uh, in uganda here i don't know whether you prefer that let's try with that if it has been accepted then well and good 
if not then we are going to need other information again so for this case we are going to enter the address that we have on this national id all right the address so that's why i told you we need both side back and front so you come here and you enter the village Paris, sub county the country the county the district but for this case we are just going to enter uh the the village and then uh, we are going to skip other part and we are going to enter the district of oima and then the county we are going to enter the country like oima um, municipality i don't know now how to call that but just take it that way so let's get back here and then we try to enter uh, the same information here we are saying okay the address uh, the village is uh, Ru Yanza Ruyan Ruyanza uh -uh. Ruyanza Okay East Ruyanza East and then and then we are going to skip this line to it doesn't matter so we are going to enter it to be like uh, oima the city will be oima just let's put it there like that oima then the code we are just going to put like four they will accept that all oh, we let it to be fine so because we don't have the postal address in uganda i mean the yeah the the jeep code stuff like this so after putting this we are just going to go straight away we are just moving straight to submit and we are going to see whether this account will be accepted because it's I, we i can't assure you that it will be accepted uh, immediately uh, let's first try and we see all right so let's try to take a look at this after it has been submitted successfully let's wait for it first to to, to load and we see what we shall be where we shall be taking all right i can see like it's some great option let's see what will happen all right let's see what will happen let's click on ok i can see but i'm still worried oh hey okay this is the problem now we want to confirm that the information in the paypal account is accurate as we notice account all right as we notice that we notice some suspicion Okay, we notice some account uh, suspicious activity in your account. To understand this better, we need more information from you. You will need to provide the requested form or information to re to regain full access. So this is what we are going to do. This is a big problem, all right? But now you click on this view or see more details for this, and then we correct it. In case you have. Um, you came across this problem when opening up your very own paper account then make sure you check it out you follow along this um, uh, this process again so we are going to check the details and we see what do they need exactly all right and let's try to rectif rectify this problem here so now since you you are able to see this the account impact uh you are able to see reference number is this one we will start our review after you have complete you have completed all of the below requests required task so resolve so upload a photo id so this is exactly what we are going to do we are going to upload this but it's need a scanned copy of this so you need to scan the copy of this um uh app id image or the photo to resolve this issue so in this case i'm going to refer it back to the to the honor and then uh, when you click on this um, now this is what you are going to see select the what the type the passport national identity card then we are just going to i'm going to direct him to do to go with the national identity card all right then clicking here and then just going straight away to your uh, uh computer or smartphone and then you select the scanned copy of your national id or you are driving lenses or even your um, passport so make sure you check it out exactly so this is how to resolve it we had already created this account but the problem that we encountered there actually so 
disappointing but it will work after uh, this has been submitted so you can submit this um thing here uh via this format g jpg and then the gif and then the png pdf or uh, okay they must not pass uh, maybe five mbs uh for you for it to be accepted so after you have uploaded everything you just click on submit then they will allow you to start getting everything so as that is it exactly so let's leave this point and we get back here so that is how you can actually create your working paper account that can send and receive but for this case this one here is not able to receive yet because there are some other kind of things they are requiring us to include there like submitting the national id uh, details all right so i will advise this person here to to actually uh, submit uh, the scanned copy of this all right because if it's not scanned it will be a big problem it will not be accepted so i will advise him to do so all right i'll also share my video this video i'm making with him and then to make sure that he can be able to uh, to correct uh, the problems that uh, we encountered while creating this account because you need to join the hand so if you are paper account you have opened a paper account and it's not showing these um, balance because there are a lot of people from here that they have never they tried opening the paper account but they have never seen this kind of thing you're seeing here like paper uh, balance they have never seen this but if you want to create a paper account that looks like this just follow along with me all right so thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're still new to get some other important information just like this all right so i wish you good luck for trying okay why don't you go try this bye bye